Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, those were turkeys in the background that you just heard. That's right. Turkey, 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 turkey dinner. Anyway, today was a special uh, Minecraft video. I got just about uh, half an hour here before I have to head out, go visit the family, and uh, have some Christmas, have some turkey dinner for Thanksgiving. All right, so here we go. All right, and here we go. We're going back to Valhalla. By the way, this is uh, Jeremy, also known as Yule Heinrich, playing today. And there we go. You know, it's times like this that I wish Minecraft had turkeys. I really do. Because it's delicious. And yummy. No matter if it's wild or if it's farm, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to move. That's right, we're going to move. I know we just set out down our roots here, and you guys don't want to move yet, but trust me, you're going to want to. So I'm just going to make a, uh, a double chest. And uh, I'm not going to take everything. I'm going to take the saplings. Definitely going to take the cobble fence, the bucket. Oh yeah, guys, here's something that was really interesting. I forgot to tell you. I got uh, the music disc while playing, while preparing for the uh, tutorial video for uh, the other night. And I was going up against some creepers and they popped up out of nowhere. And a skeleton just spawned right behind it and shot the creeper and I was killing it at the time and it took it out in one hit and I got myself a uh, nice little disc. Now uh, later on I will get a jukebox and we can listen to that CD. In fact I'm going to take it with us just because and I'm going to leave the ender pearl and I'm going to take half of these saplings here now I'm going to leave everything here mainly because I can get more wool I mean I got enough sheep over here I can just waltz right in and kill some I don't care they give me experience and they give me wool I mean not the smartest way to do it but oh well Okay, so I found a place to go to, and it's uh, it's not it's not actually that far, and I just I just love where it's located. Oh, by the way, um, here's a mine that uh, we're gonna explore later. I explored it earlier, trying to get some iron. I actually found some gold in there, but um, it's still mainly unexplored, and we will be going back down there to go and see what else we can find down there. Alright, so I'm going to make a boat for the purpose of this video. We're going to do this right here. Ta-da! And, oh man, I'm going to need to make some room for it. Uh, I can ditch the hoe for now. I'll just place that and grab the hoe and right click to get into your boat. And now you guys got to be careful when you're using your boat because it, it can break really easily. Um, they haven't changed it since boats came out in the early days of Alpha. And I really, really don't like it. I mean, I wish Notch would fix that. Because I don't think a chicken sitting in the water while I'm going so fast in this boat can break my... Uh, break my boat. Now the cow on the other hand the cow is understandable because he's big and he's fat but uh, not a chicken. I mean unless the chicken's carrying some TNT with it I, I don't think it's fair. But that's just me. Um, Notch if you could please if you're watching this please please think about fixing that because um, I'm tired of having this thing break whenever I'm trying to maneuver these small little rivers. Ah, like that, right there. I hate that. Ah, shoot. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright, I'm going to show you 
some uh, really cool things. I'm, gonna, I'm basically just going to show you how to uh, how to how to build a nice little starting house. All right, I'm gonna pop off of here. See, you see that? It wasn't even going that fast, and it broke. Not fair, right? I know. Trust me, I know. All right, so here we go. I've already cleared out some land. Um, well, actually, this this isn't something I cleared out, except for that little small area right there. I want to build my little house right up here, but that's proving to be a little bit more difficult. I used some uh, TNT that I made earlier, and that helped out a, a bit. Um, not a whole lot, but a bit. Ow. Ouch. Okay, I got it. I got to stop doing that. But for now, we're going to um, build right here. Now, I like you know, a good little area. You know, maybe that's a little, maybe that's a little big, but yeah, I think that's a little big. So we're just gonna go out this way. Diggings, not that important. Yes, I mean there's there's e way easier ways you can do it, but um, unless you want to be cheating, I don't suggest you do those things. So, I like to lay cobblestone as my foundation. Um, it's great. It's a lot harder to blow up than dirt. I mean it'll still blow up, but it's creepers are gonna destroy less of it than they would if they were destroying a um, a wood block. Alright, so there we go. We got this up. And make sure you guys have plenty of wood for this adventure when you guys do your moving. I, uh, I did not bring a lot of wood. But for you guys, um, when I get offline probably tomorrow, I'll finish making the house. And oh, I should probably show you guys how to make some glass too today, huh? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, show you how to make some glass too. And some window paint. I oh, love window paints. Looks so much better than glass blocks. I know, I have a full inventory here. Drop the dirt, and let's start replacing the wood. I like, I like a wood floor. Um, you guys can have it whatever you want. Sandstone, dirt, even if you wanted. Well, what the? Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I think I might already be out of out of wood, which is not a fun thing. If that's the case. Oh. Take my axe here. Chop these little buggers down. Take that. Drop it. And place, place. I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, place my chest. I'm gonna place it right here, towards the back of my house. This way, I can just start unloading this stuff in here. Um, clay. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some clay bricks. Um, for the moment, though, I will use cobblestone for my house, <coughs> or at least for my yeah for my house. I'm gonna make a house first instead of a lookout tower. Uh, I, I haven't really found a, a decent enough place. I mean, I guess over there would be great, but I don't I don't want to stray too far. So I'm gonna explore a little bit more of the local area, and uh, then I'll decide what I'm going to do after that. So drop that in there. Oh yeah, great great thing to do, guys. Um, bone meal. Put bones in here. Get bone meal. 
bone meal can be used to accelerate crop growth or my personal favorite um, insta trees is what I like to call it get the insta tree going so we're gonna cut this right here and use that for wood and then mix some place some more wood now it's starting to get dark as you guys can see I know I know I don't even have my torches placed oh no bad news bad news right well not not entirely so I'm gonna knock this out here I'm going to place another tree and we look at that oh my goodness Knock that out, knock that out. Not a whole lot of treeage. Um, what I will do, however, is I will to get rid of that quicker. I'm going to light it on fire. I know. Hey, don't don't try this at home, kids. Do not set trees on fire after you cut them down. It's it's a, probably a bad idea. You know, not sure, but pretty sure it's a bad idea. So I like to have nice little high ceilings. Um, you guys don't need high ceilings. I like a, uh, a four or a five block high ceiling. Um, that's mainly because I love to play with glowstone. I am a glowstone fiend. Alright, so it's starting to get dark. I'm going to go ahead and put some, some torches up for now. is more for my safety than than yours for obvious reasons. So you see I got a nice little nice little place here. I'm gonna put some more torches around the area, you know, help keep monsters from or mobs from just spawning in. I keep calling them monsters, but the technical term is mobs. So yep, put some torches all over the place. Keep them guys from spawning in because I don't want them to. There we go. And grab some more cobble. This gives me a nice little small area. Um, this is just going to be my little summer home, I guess you could call it. I'm not going to make this my uh, my permanent place of residence, but it is going to be my cottage. So I want it to look somewhat nice. Now this isn't your uh, normal standard cottage. I'm not going to worry about the door until I actually get ready to place it. But I want to get this at least too high. So that way I don't have monsters popping in here while I'm building this. So I'm going to pause you guys for a little bit. And once I get this wall built, uh, I'll come back. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, finished with the uh, the basic construction. Uh, I just put um, just wood up on top here, just for now. I'm going to put some more torches up, so that way we don't have anything spawning inside of here. Because goodness knows that'd be a bad thing to do to happen. Now, uh, I am not liberal at all with my with my torches. And I, I know, yes, I know, I'm, I'm wasting my torches, but, uh, no, no, I'm not. I would rather know for a fact that I'm safe rather than, uh, have a creeper pop in behind me. So, uh, here we go. I, like I said, one, two, three, four blocks high. Um, ceiling is actually right up top there. See, I like to be able to jump around and not hit anything. Until, you know, I just climb up here and then I do hit something. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make glass. So, easy enough. Sand in the furnace. And we need to wait for that sand to turn into... Ta-da! Glass. 
beautiful, wonderful, multi-purposeful glass. And glass can be used for a lot of things. I've seen people use it in mob spawners, in, in really cool designs for their houses. Um, I mean, there's there's really glass is just like every other block. It can be used for anything, anything, which is uh, which is a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, I think it's kind of funny, because, you know what, I bet my fiancé got on here, and I bet you she changed the difficulty. Hold on. And, yeah, she changed the difficulty to easy. That was, uh, that was not cool. Uh, as you can see, you know, this gives you a great little area to attack from. They can't, they can't touch you. Look at him. Aw, look at you, zombie. You're trying to get me. You can't. Sorry. Um, however, that will not stop a creeper, because they just have to get that close to you, and they will go tss, kaboom. Alright, I think we got some of it done now. Yep, here we go. You only need six blocks of glass to make a window pane, and a, and a crass workbench. So here we go. And just six glass blocks will get you 16 glass panes. And I gotta tell you, I love pl paints better than uh, than blocks. Unless you know I'm like doing a glass ceiling, then I use a block. Um, something cool about glass blocks I haven't noticed before though is when you're on the roof, when you like when you place the block, it'll look like it's just a piece of the of the wall and it'll just appear like like this except right here on the edge in fact I'll uh, let me see here can I salvage yes I can I can I can break a block for this demonstration break that ah uh, that's something new that you guys should know um, glass pla panes no longer give back glass pl panes when you break them so here you go you press it and look I remember back in the days when it would you could see the glare on the outside too and it just looked ugly and yeah it kind of still does um, compared to that but cool thing is is I'll pop outside real quick okay we're good see shows for the outside but doesn't show the inside it only shows the glare for what side you're looking into so I'm gonna break that now get my glass pane back and put that back in and so here we go we have ourselves our little cottage uh, later on you guys can uh, make some stairs and uh, use them for a whole bunch of stuff I'll, I'll show you one of those uses right now that I absolutely love to use oh I already have fences Oh yeah, to make a stairs, it's one, two, you gotta, you know, once again, make it look like a stair block. That's pretty easy. And a pressure plate is just two, either, it's, you either got wood or stone pressure plates. And I'm going to use a wooden pressure plate. So here we go, we got that, we got that, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a little table and such, which is kind of cool. So we're going to put this and that and that down there. And what do you guys think? Should I have it somewhere near the window? I think so. I'm going to put it right here just outside of the window and I'll tell you guys why in a bit. Oh, that's a little bit too far out. Actually, you know what? No, no. Let's, let's keep it like that. I got a great idea for this. All right. I want to make another pressure plate and you'll see what I'm going to do okay so we got a fence right there and now what you can do is just put a little pressure plate right there and a pressure plate right there and congratulations you now have a table now mind you um, 
you aren't actually going to be able to sit in it, but it just it just looks nice in my opinion. Just it just looks nice. And um, the reason why you don't want to place it next to the wall is because now it does that, and that just doesn't look good. And I liked it when you. Um, I, okay, I, I liked it when you did, and I liked it when you didn't. Like, I like it now, because when I want to do my furniture, I like it then, because when I do my furniture, I didn't have to worry about, you know, something being right there. In fact, I can probably place this uh, little guy. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right. I ain't going to get up there from there. I'm going to go this way. Hoo -ah. Now I have a little seating arrangement, which I think looks cool. Give myself kind of like a diner look. See? Ain't that neat? Got got a place. I got I got seating for five. No. Four. Got seating for four. So there you go, there's a little table. Uh, let's see here. I'm not gonna worry about an upstairs for this when we make our uh, when we make our tower. I'll go into a little bit more about uh, how best to do those. But I think we are good here. I'm uh, I got my window panes up. I got my nice little house. See, I'll show you guys on the outside what it looks like. Ta-da. Now, uh, that's going to be replaced later on. I just put up the roof just to put it up and get it done and out of the way. Just so that we could get on with the purpose of the tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to do later is I'm going to extend that out one and basically make a... Uh, make a little overhang which will be kind of cool. Give it kind of a shingled roof, I guess you could say. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll show you guys how to make something, how to make a how to make a sign, since we're here. So you need one stick at the very bottom, in the middle, and then six wood planks up on top. And there you go. There's your sign. And I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to put my... go. Home sweet home. Alright guys, that concludes this portion of the tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.